What's up? Man 7, Mr. Bowers coming at you again. Live, Peter Mueller Middle School. Here we go. Day 2, transformations. Changing something. We're either going to slide it, reflect it, dilate it, make it bigger or smaller, or rotate it. Remember? We're on reflections today. Everybody knows what a reflection is. You look in the mirror, you see yourself. You're reflecting something. But when we're talking about reflections here, remember we're dealing with the coordinate plane. X-axis, Y-axis. You're going to reflect it one of two ways. All right? You're either going to reflect it over the X, could be down here and flip it this way, or over the Y. And there I said a key word. I said flip. Everybody on your note sheet, let me use a different colored pen here. Circle the FL because that stands for flip. Remember in translations we circled the SL, we slid it, right? This one here, the FL, is means flip it. We're either gonna flip it over the Y. If we wrote if we rotate it or reflect it over the Y axis or the X axis, reflect it, right? So let's look at one here. Um, go right to your note sheet and I'll put it up here on the board. I'll talk loud so you can hear me, hopefully. Here we have the coordinate plane and we have triangle. DEF. I already put it on there. These are the original points. Okay? And it says reflect the right triangle whose points are below over the X axis. Here's our triangle, and we want to reflect it or flip it over the X axis. So it's going to end up down here. Okay? How do we do that? How do we do that? What is the easy way to do that? Well, the easy way, or the right way to do that, is we know our new triangle is going to be D prime, E prime, and F prime. We're going to have an X and a Y coordinate. Here's the trick. If you're reflecting over the X axis, we only have to change the sign on one of our coordinates. Everything else is the same. Our points are going to be the same. It's going to be 2, 2, 5, 4, 1, 5. But we have to change the sign. Right up here now, all our Y's are positive, aren't they? If you're from here up, that's positive 1, 2, 3, 4. But we're going to flip it down here, all right? Our X's are still positive. Everything from the here over here is positive. doesn't matter if it's down here or up here. But we're changing our Y's from positive to negative. So all you have to do, this is my X, this is my Y, right? Is put a negative sign in front of all of those. Let's see if it works. The first point would be 2, negative 2. 1, 2. That would be D prime. The next one would be 5, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that is E prime. And our last one is 1, negative 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Draw your line. is F prime. And there we have reflected it. That's that same triangle, but we just flipped it over the x-axis. Alright? Now look at the points. Look at the points. Look at the points in the table above. What is the pattern when you reflect over the x-axis? You change the sign on the Y values. That's how you do it. 
and it tells you here. All we have to do is change the sign of the Y coordinate, right? If you're flipping over the X axis, right? Any questions on that? Of course not. You're not here to ask them. Okay, let's do one more. I think we have another one. Example on the page. Make sure you all got it. would look like if this figure was reflected over the x-axis. Highlight that because that's important. If we're reflecting over the x, all we have to change is our y's, right? x, y. These are the ones we have to change. So m prime is going to be 1. It's a negative 1. We're going to make it a positive 1. If this new one is, the x stays the same. If that new one is 4, n prime is 4, it was negative 4. All right. O is negative 1, 1, it's going to be negative 1, positive 1. All right. And P prime, the X stays the same, negative, we change the Y's, positive 4, this would be negative 4. Finish the table below to show what the points would look like. That's it. All right. If you're going over the X axis, Change the Y value. Alright. Hopefully you all understand this. I'm going to do one more thing to hopefully... Come on, get it. Go away. To make sure you understand this. Let me slide this paper down. And hopefully it will make it clear. Think about your points. For every box here, right, you got an X and a Y points in here. Here, you're positive, your X is positive and your Y is positive, right? Because you're above the line, everything up here, Y is positive and every X is positive. Here, every X is negative because you're this side of zero, right? This is zero, so this would be negative one. X is negative, but your Y's are positive. Here, your X's are negative, and guess what? Your Y's are negative. Here, your X's are positive, and your Y's are negative. So it makes sense if you just flip it from here to here, your X's stay the same. But look at your Y's, they go from positive to negative. Or vice versa, if you flip it from here to here, it goes from negative to positive. Same way here. Flip it from here to here, right? You're going over the Y axis. So you change your X's. Your X goes from negative to positive and back and forth. That's why we only change the sign of what we're not flipping over. If we're flipping over the Y, we change the X's. If we're flipping over the X's, change the Y. Reflections. It's not that tough, guys. This is an easy one. All right, peace.